Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be um, working on this uh, XE data model. So, so let's go ahead and get started. So what we have by default is an item. So I'm going to actually remove this. And um, let's see, can you just select and delete? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to add an add entity. And this entity, we're going to call it to do like that. Okay, and we're gonna have three attributes. So we're gonna have text, which is gonna be of type string. This is our actual to do text. Then we're gonna have ID, and this is gonna be UUID. Then we're gonna have create or created. Okay, this is just gonna be a date when this was. Um, when this task was created so we can just select the date type all right so we're going to use created actually for to sort all right okay so that's all we need for our XE data model and uh for our persistence um we're going to clean up a bit so i'm going to actually delete everything and i want to type it on my own okay so what we need is we need a static let shared persistence controller that's gonna be our shared instance and then we're gonna have container All right and an initializer that will basically um, get take nothing okay and because we don't want to deal with in memory and stuff because I haven't explored it, so I don't know what that what that is. And uh, so I'm gonna actually just skip that. And I'm gonna simply say NS persistence container name is this name of the file. Okay, the your XE data model file. Right. So this is our container that we got now. Now we're gonna simply say container dot load persistence store with completion handler. Okay. And this completion handler gives us a few things. So it gives us a store description and an error. Well in in most of the cases we actually don't really need any of these. So I'm gonna say I mean error we definitely need if we encounter any error. Well um loading the persistent container so we're gonna say if let error is equal to error as ns error okay so if there is any error we're gonna throw a fatal error with unresolved error case where we can actually tell more information about the error itself there we go okay all right so let's go ahead and build and uh, i know it's not gonna build right now because there are several places we are referencing these items and stuff so let's go ahead and clean those up too so open your muse container and i'm gonna actually simply do this i'm gonna say all right there you go we don't need this actually as a matter of fact we don't need any of these so i'm gonna simply say body okay this okay all right let's go ahead and try to build and build succeeded uh, that's what we need because we're gonna be writing everything um so we can write it from scratch all right with that like you know i don't think any other so we have our persistent controller dot container dot view context so no need to change anything over there preview content we don't have anything okay one more thing info.plist we're gonna need a couple of things for info.plist so if you scroll down add a new item and scroll down we're gonna need privacy microphone usage okay and this is basically for 
uh, system to present uh, mic use um, uh, dialog uh, and we need that uh, so we can actually and this is where we're gonna value is gonna be where we're gonna make our case why do we need your uh, microphone access okay so you're gonna simply say need mic access or speech to text like so okay let's create another one and this one is going to be another privacy one and uh, this one is going to be speech recognition so speech recognition usage description and uh, we're gonna i'm just gonna copy and paste that one right there because it's essentially the same reason why we need the speech recognition um, access okay with that um, let's go ahead and build again we should be building everything and i'm gonna run this project one time to see if everything builds out okay and we forgot to put anything so let me put hello here so we know that our view is actually loading appropriately okay so hopefully it's gonna show hello uh on the center of the screen there we go all right awesome okay so with this uh we have reached to a place where we can actually break this video and uh we're gonna continue in our next video where we're gonna start working uh, first on our mic manager so basically uh, a utility that's gonna help us uh, with that visualization view okay so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you